title of contestant number two's oration is Education and Our Constitution. Thank <laughs> you. 
converted to an act of tyranny. We must be an educated citizen, willing to limit the actions of Congress and return to a nation of the people, by the people, and for the people. When we learn about the true intent of our founders, when we study the Constitution, when we go back to our foundation and the roots of what made America on the right track to reclaim our government. We must be an enlightened people, but we're not. Instead, we have a nation full of people who do not understand how extraordinary America's form of government is. Our government is a genius combination of a monarchy, aristocracy, and democracy. The one, the few, and the many president, the legislators, and the people. It is an exceptional system that protects rights and freedoms for over 300 million citizens here in the United States. Those who live elsewhere can only dream of having the privileges we take for granted. Unfortunately, recent surveys show that only 25% of Americans can name more than one of the rights guaranteed in the First Amendment. The percentage of Americans who can name all three branches of government, only 38%. And one third of those surveyed could not correctly identify any of the three legislative, executive, and judicial branches of government. That means 75% of Americans don't know their First Amendment rights. And 62% don't know their government system. Even worse, 49% of Americans, half the population of the United States, believe that the president has the power to suspend the Constitution. Shouldn't that alarm us? Government educators said they would educate those in the public schools, and we trusted them. They declared that no child would be left behind. And while the education system teaches everything from math to science to history and English, it rarely teaches one of the most important subjects we as Americans should know, the Constitution. If the majority of Americans do not know the principles behind the founding document, how can we expect them to know why it is important? How will they know their duty as citizens? How can they know that the people is in power? As Abraham Lincoln once declared, the philosophy of the schoolroom in one generation will be the philosophy of the government in the next. All too often, citizens nowadays vote for what sounds good, or which politician speaks better, or simply a long party line. But that was not how it was meant to be. We, the people, must vote for specific ideas, those that are constitutional. And we must reject any proposals that ignore or attempt to supersede the Constitution. We are the ones who must guide our nation, not the president. The power is in our hands, but we abuse it when we fail to educate ourselves and stay involved. The nation is sitting idly by letting politicians continue to abandon the Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, we must learn and we must teach. We must not be ignorant like those who would sign away their First Amendment rights. We have been given the gift of a democratic republic, but it requires. It demands citizen involvement. That was the way it was established. From the people to the representatives to the legislatures to the law books. Education and our constitution are inseparable. Education and freedom are inseparable. Education and our rights are inseparable. We must be educated. We must elect informed leaders. We must hold them accountable for their actions. We must act. We do not know the Constitution of the United States of America.
time for contestant number two. Ten minutes, zero seconds. No penalty. <laughs> Test number two, your assigned topic.
Time for contestant number two. Four minutes, 54 seconds, no penalty. <laughs>